Hello, I am Willis and welcome to The Sims 4. We will be playing as Noctorino Sim, uh, they are a teenager, they are a werewolf, they don't have a house and they have no money and they have no gender. As you can see their life is not going well. We start by traveling uh, the world and going to a bar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nocturino acts socially weird and goes to sleep on the couch. Hundreds of bears suddenly invade the bar. It's a furry condition. Nocturino might feel at home there. We spot a drink and we proceed to take it randomly. Yes, 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 yes. Way. <laughs> it's not much, but it satisfies a bit of anger. Let's go drink a bit, we decide to dance. Or seems a dance machine that helps greatly. Under the storm, Dr. Angel will die from meals and from tears. They manage to find the most spoiled food ever known to man and eats it. There is a random man who is telling Dr. Angel to stop in trash. <laughs> I am part dog, sir. I will eat trash. It's my duty. We dance for hours and all. It is in time for our first day of school. Dr. Angel goes to talk with the principal. As you can tell, our rage level is really high, so you put to our nose and going to eat the principal alive. The tutorial looks really cool for their first day of school. Their clown makeup is on point. I hope Mary Prescott is impressed with them. The tutorial goes to class, where they get surrounded by a bunch of geeks. After class, the tutorial can't even pay for food. We have to stay in the class and wait until lunch time ends. Our teacher is looking at us from behind menacingly. Nocturino walks creepily back to class with red aura around their body. No one but an eye. After school, we go to a karaoke, we get a bit of slip, and randomly start a school project in the middle of the place. Nocturino doesn't seem to get social cues well. After a while, Nocturino needs some fun. They give us their best performance yet. Nocturno loses the karaoke contest. We wonder why. After a while, we get to a bar in Werewolf City. We meet vampires. Nocturno doesn't like them because Nocturno is a furry. Vampires are a different kind of old people. Vlad is a bit friendly, but Caleb is being mean to us. Curse you, Caleb! That's it. Nocturno has had enough. They become a werewolf. Being in their full furry form, they decide to scratch things menacingly. Meanwhile, Caleb is having fun listening to cool piano music. <laughs> he runs away. Where is he? Oh, seems like Nocturno is scaring the vampires. <laughs> While we destroy things, we get a message. We give a peaceful answer. <laughs> Suddenly, Nocturno is locked on a mountain. They are fully naked and very scared. Their image direction is to juggle with a football while naked and all on a mountain. Enough of the nonsense, we run back to the bar. On the way, Nocturno finds a seemingly dead woman. Apparently it's a normal occurrence over here because no one cares. Second day of school, Nocturno is dying of hunger. They play guitar to impress their classmates and make money, but everyone is being greedy. It's time for crying. A plate of burger is being alone. Nocturno gets close and steals the burgers. We will survive one more day. We also notice the principal working really hard. While I study, a random fight breaks out. Nocturno knows better. They keep studying. So let's take a picture at some point for the memories. As a fight breaks out with the same two people, Nocturno dances a bit because they have some issues with social cues. After school, we have more homeworks. We work in the front yard of a bar. A bunch of buff adult men are watching us. Once we're done, it's time to make money and quick. Nocturino plays the worst songs ever known to mankind. Cool. But we get 18 million. It's the richest we've ever been. 
After eating, we gained our construction. Meanwhile, an old man is laying on the dance floor. We also find out that May Prescott, the principal, followed us to the bar. We steal our drink as punishment. It's our third day of school. Nocturno gets bullied by a guy named Lord Wario. We are in the prey in high school. The clown makeup might make us an easy target. The teacher has some important reminders for us all. We then go to the Spice Festival. May Prescott is there too, once again. Everywhere you go, I go. There's a lot of free food, so Nocturno eats a lot. We also get a ton of plants. After a few hours, May Prescott decides it's time to get rid of her pants. <laughs> it's inappropriate, but something worse is happening than the naked principal. There's a woman vomiting again and again. <laughs> the woman can go. What is going on? It's museum time. Dr. Reno steals the statue. Yes, sir. Thanks God there's no camera. Afterward, they sleep on the floor in the middle of the museum hall. We also spot May Prescott in the museum again. She's stalking us. We go back home and build two walls for our house. We were only in money, so we go fishing at the museum. We also spot May Prescott again. It's prom time. We go early and the event is broken. The only person who enters is May Prescott. Nocturno is forced to build the prom. As you can see, Nocturno is great at decorating. Nocturno goes to dance on some good S pop songs. The party is going great. We get chosen as a school jester. It looks like bullying, but Nocturno feels really happy to be the local clown. Their hat looks really cool on them. After that, Nocturno goes to sleep. They hide behind the guitar as if no one would ever see them sleep there. Apparently, no one can see this homeless teenager dying behind the guitar. Nocturno goes to fish. My, my, my strategy is to stink so bad that no one else will come and fish next to me. <laughs> Once we have over 100 money, we go to the thrifty. Everyone here is saying we stink and everyone is mean. Nocturno cooks a grilled cheese sandwich. After eating two more, we unlock the great cheese sandwich's inspiration. We go to the Hijinx Festival. To participate, we drink the Jokester's tea. We also spot sims who look like real people. We spot the local Discord mod. We try to befriend them by saying the worst jokes ever known to mankind. Our team wins because Nocturino was so great at telling all the jokes. We wait to fireworks, but our nose is hiding half of the screen. We go back to the Swifty. We keep loitering there. We make food, sleep, and watch our hands without making any purchases. People are all buying at least two bubble cheese each. While we eat more grilled cheese sandwiches, more bubble teas appear. At school, we go to Courier Day. Back home, we build a house. It's not much, but at least it's, it's dishonest work made of stealing things from innocent people. Nocturno can now control their furry form fully. They sleep with their eyes open because the Discord mode is right next to us. We sell some stolen items and we had a candle to the house. This was a great week for Nocturino. They are still alive, which is a surprise. For the next episode, we will try to make more money and improve the house. Until then, Nocturino will keep eating good cheese sandwiches and loitering in every small business they see. Thank you for watching and until the next one, goodbye.